Oh, it's so heavy. Can he do it? Can he vlog? And carry bags upstairs. Moving day. Pagan. Este. Claro. Good morning, Mr. Ford. Good morning, Camille. Good morning. Make sure that this gets into the vlog. I can do that. Okay. I'm not gonna be as obnoxious as Carly about it, but don't be a dick. <laughs> don't bleep that out either. <laughs> you wanna try them on? What is up, guys? Welcome they to the vlog. Busy. Welcome to Puerto Escondido, Mexico, and to a classic travel vlog. We're kind of taking it back here. Today we're going to this town that I, for the life of me, can't remember the name of, but I'm sure it's in like the title or the description. Um, and it's like an hour outside of Puerto Escondido. So if you're looking for like daytime e activities outside of Puerto, this might be a good video for you. But um, yeah, without further, without further ado, welcome to the vlog and to uh, to Mexico. is going good here. I think we have people pit stop to get some of my cash out of a bank real quick. But it's amazing how uh, you can go just a few minutes outside of a city, even a city as small as Puerto Escondido, and immediately you're like in the countryside. And that's what I love about like doing road trips like this, is like you get a few minutes outside of one of the major cities and you're in kind of like rural Mexico and you get a totally different perspective than if you would if you were just to stay in like the major cities and so right now we're going through like farmland and like jungle and next to the ocean and it's just like a really cool chance to get to see kind of what I'd call like authentic more authentic Mexico than like a touristy town like Puerto Escondido. Ooh, it's a vessel yeah. for me to put lime on. Pick them up? This is a very like Mexican Way better fruit. here than in Asia. And the, um, the initial taste is really good. It's and it's like, like, um, then it's just good enough. Water, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, I feel like I'm just eating water. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's just... Holy shit. So good. Holy shit. That's, that's that is incredible. I don't like coconut water either, so I'll be there. Mm. Wow. Think? Right? Mm. So I'm not usually a, like a coconut milk type person uh, or a coconut like water type person. It just doesn't like, I don't know, doesn't do it for me. But this right here, the lady says it's like coconut water mixed in with some of like the coconut husk. Oh, it's like s sweet, but also like hint of coconut. Oh, it's refreshing. Oh, that's good. Haven't got some mango. See, that is why you stopped in these tiny little towns. Mm. Whoa. Continue with the adventure! Away! Zapotolito. That's, that's where we're going. We had to, had to stop to get a video of the sign. Let's go! These guys just like pulled up next to us. They saw us like passing. They all jumped on their bikes and then like raced after us. And I don't know, I think we're like we're following them to get on a boat. Yeah, so they're trying to get us to like go on a boat, I think, right now. I really have no idea what's going on. They literally showed up out of nowhere and like chased us down. <laughs> it got in the wrong boat. So in true like adventure fashion here, things are taking like a little bit of a left left turn here. I thought we were just gonna like, kind of like pull up on the scooters and we'd just be at some beach and that's what we'd be doing all day. But apparently there are no, there's like no beaches here. So you have to take a boat, aka this boat, and that takes you out to either 
I'm not sure if there's like an island or if it's like just a different part of the mainland that you can only get to from a boat. But yeah, this is like, Yay. I like this. This is a good little left turn. That was like a 30 minute boat ride. Cost about seven bucks each. And it took us through like these like really cool like mangroves uh, to get here. No so those crocodiles are, though. Yeah, we kind of were looking for some crocodiles because we know that there are in the water there, but uh, we didn't see any. Goodbye foot prisons. Hello, bare feet. Hola, hola perito. Quick update. We are no longer in Zapatelito, or Zapatelito, yeah, Zapatelito. And we're no longer in there. That was just the town where we got the boat. The boat then took us to here, which is called Chikawa. And let me show you what Chikawa looks like. I think it's just this one leg stretch of beach here. It kind of goes on forever in that direction. And then forever in that direction, kind of just curves around. Got some like surfer dudes out here, but Basically, it's just like the most hippie surfer town I've ever been to. We're sitting here at the restaurant and there's people with like their tents pitched up. They're sleeping in hammocks and that's what they're staying for the night. They're staying in tents. They're staying in like hammocks and it's costing them nothing. And we even passed like a table full of like people that had this huge bag of weed just like sitting on the table and they were like rolling joints. Like I kid you not, this is like the most surfer hippie town I've ever been to. But we're just going to hang out here and like eat some food. Maybe I'll go surf if I can find a, a surfboard because the waves back here look super tasty. They're just like long waves you can ride forever and they're not gonna like, they're not too big so they're not gonna crash and like kill you so yeah that's the update we're just gonna hang out here but yeah chikawa if you're ever in Puerto, you have to come here because it's just like the coolest hippiest chillest vibes place i think i've ever been to uh guacamole is that us station that's, that's, that's them okay i came a little prepared i had to bring a towel so we're sharing a towel seriously didn't pack anything like i might have been wearing I didn't bring a bathing suit, I didn't bring a towel, I wore tennis shoes to the beach, like... I was not prepared for what we were getting into today. This is why the vloggers know that I'm the captain. I drive the motorcycle. I'm learning how to drive pack. the motorcycle. I've actually been driving it recently. <laughs> like I've been keeping a lot it's better. A scooter. I'm gonna call it a motorcycle, it makes me feel more badass. <laughs> of course. <laughs> The one time you get <laughs> the one time I get you, you're just shoving you're just coconut. You munch the hunts of fun. Oh, that feels good. Oh, you must be so jealous. Oh, it feels amazing. I've never had a toe touch in my life. I just. Wow, that was impressive. I. <laughs> I feel like this is like every guy's dream, like two cute girls wrestling in the sand here. Here to attest, it's not as uh, not as sexy as we all imagine our heads. never does it justice guys but that right there that right there is an incredible sunset and if you're wondering why should you go to Chikawa well one surf is amazing uh, two it's one of those places where you can just totally chill there's no cell phone service so you throw your phone in the bag you don't see it for a week that's why you go to Chikawa uh, but right now we're gonna head back to um, La Punta 
and to put us in Dito, you don't want to see the drive there. I don't want to be carrying the camera while we drive. So you know what? Let's just get there. Uh, I'll cut. We'll cut back. We'll be in Puerto Escondido, and I'll even show you my brand new apartment that we just moved into. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell them why you're wearing these goggles right now. This is just not how because... I want to crash, you know? <laughs> no, I can't die like this. <laughs> I can't die looking like this. Okay. Because there's too... not accept this. No. <laughs> There's too many mosquitoes. Wait, wait, say it again. There's a lot of mosquitoes, and they're literally hitting me in the face and the eye. I can't see when I'm driving. But sunglasses this are too dark. This is significantly better. They're a little tight. We loosen it up. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Can it, does the helmet fit? Yes. Honestly, you look kind of good. Really Actually, the thing is, like, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay, yeah. first. This is significantly better than what I was just dealing with. So, okay. this is easy for them to be <laughs> How do they feel? It's so freaking cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. That scooter ride last night was way longer than I remember. My butt is so sore. Ooh, it's toasty. But we didn't get until late last night, and so we're gonna end the video here the next day. This is the new apartment. I'll give you a 360. It's a studio, got the bed here, got the kitchen here, got the little breakfast table, and then a huge balcony outside. So super cool uh, place, and I'm pumped to be here for the next month. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. if you've been watching the vlog, you know that I threw my drone in the ocean like last week, but Ooh, da 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 da! Just got, just got wallet number five right there. Super pumped about that, and oh, we forgot. And I got these like ND filters for it that I've never used before. So pumped on that. So the drone is back in the vlog, uh, but I think that's a perfect place to end this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed just a good old fashioned classic travel vlog, taking it back. Uh, and if you have liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, do all of those things. Got lots of cool stuff coming up, but that's it. The show is over. The vlog, it is done. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Brand new drone.